My name is Dr. Michael Hogan from the School of Psychology here at NUI Galway. My background is psychology and uh, developmental psychology in particular. So I came from a background in studying adult cognition and adult development. From that, over time, I've gravitated in some of my research uh, towards a focus on mindfulness. Okay, so uh, you know I'm I'm going along and I I um, I'm walking along and I I trip on the pavement, and um, you know I can have any number of reactions to that. The first automatic thought I might have is, uh, oh, I look like a bloody idiot here, and people are looking at me. Um, now, because that thought is automatic, you allow yourself to have it and uh, you don't elaborate on it. You observe the thought and you move on and you regain your equilibrium and your balance, and your calm and composure in, in walking the rest of your route home. The other is that the uh, experience of or the assumption that others have looked at you and have had the exact same thought that you've just had could be elaborated quite considerably and you could uh, judge yourself increasingly harshly. You could carry that judgment on to your next experience with a person who rounds the corner and uh, there's the assumption that you're still looking like an idiot and they're looking at you and you are an idiot. Um, and, and so a lot of that kind of social anxiety, for example, uh, arises as a result of uh, elaborative deepening of kind of harsh judgments in relation to the self. Anxiety and depression both have this kind of characteristic. With anxiety, uh, a lot of the thoughts have to do with worry in relation to things outside of oneself with depression has often has to do with negative thoughts in relation to oneself so with mindfulness people will observe the high arousal experience and rather than avoid that feeling they will observe that sensation or feeling then they'll also observe the associated thought processes that arise uh, to do with worry and anxiety and rather than elaborating on the thought processes or ruminating upon them as such, there is an effort just to observe them and label them and allow those observations to occur in a non-judgmental manner. Usually they begin with um, um, you know, focus on like a body scan exercise, for example, where either sitting or lying down uh, people will focus first on their breathing and tune into sensations in different areas of the body like scanning from the feet up to the head slowly and then back down and through the arms and the hands just to take in that whole sensory experience and then there will be awareness of um, position in space feeling of uh, the ground sounds around but oftentimes the focus is to bring the focus of attention back to the breathing and as thoughts arise then in, in subsequent mindfulness meditations there'll be a focus more on thought processes as thoughts arise that those thoughts are allowed to be experienced but essentially aren't elaborated on are, aren't judged uh, ongoing experience is just experienced and um, through this there's a kind of increased tuning into the, the subtlety of thought processes